everyone, I'm back and I'm here to share something with you that happened last night. So I have my Jamie here. As you know, I have two videos up of my Genevieve. Uh, she's a baby that I have up for adoption. One video I posted about two weeks ago and it's of her being put up for sale. And the other one that I just did, was it yesterday or the day before, I have her up as a trade for adoption. I have her up, you know, in a trade. And the only reason I'm sharing about these two videos is because this is the only way that the person that sent me the email last night, that's the only way they could have gained access to that particular email address is from one of those two videos. So what I've done, I've gone into those two videos and I completely deleted the descriptions on both of those videos. I did not want to delete the videos themselves because I do have views on them and um, to me every view counts so I left them up but I just deleted both descriptions from those videos. So if you go back you'll see there's nothing in the descriptions. There's no way to contact me or whatever. Anyhow, um, so then what I did is I went into my server and I banned that particular email so I won't receive any more emails from that particular email but that doesn't mean that the person won't go back and do up a fake email to get in touch with me so I'm going to have to go in and completely change out that email I'll have to give myself a new email uh, thank goodness it's not my personal email that I use but still uh, it will be a hassle for me so um, with that being said I don't bother anybody when I come into the reborn community to watch videos on other people's channels I always I always leave positive kind and encouraging comments I never never put anybody down never say anything negative you know I, I try to be very very positive and um, I would never ever send an email to someone that's uh, it, it's just um, I, I don't know I guess it was my time to be picked on who knows I don't know anyhow um, the email that I received last night was pertaining to both Jamie and Madison. Now I don't have Madison out here because she's a big doll and I just really didn't want to have to bother with sitting her up and trying to figure out how to do this um, you know with both the babies so I just have my Jamie. Anyhow the person made some very unkind remarks in that email address or that email I'm sorry they said that um, they said that I reborn Madison um, how can I put this they said I did a horrible job on reborning Madison they said she was ugly that she had no um, what do you call it depth depth to her face she had no shadowing she had no veining she's ugly I did a hideous job on her and they went on to say that I did a horrible job on Jamie's hair I should have never touched it I should have never put it on his bald head I should have left him the way he was he looks ugly um, just a lot of things like that I'm not gonna go into them it's just upsetting anyway so that's you know basically what what they were coming what they were talking about in that email and it was very upsetting to me because they went on to say a lot of other things that wasn't very nice and um, you know having the bipolar and the post-traumatic stress disorder and the high anxiety um, it was very difficult for me I did not sleep at all last night I haven't slept today and um, I cried a lot last night and because it was very upsetting to me I'm a very sensitive person 
So it was very upsetting to me to get an email like this. And uh, I don't know who it is. I don't know who sent it. I don't know if it was a man, a woman, a child. Um, at this point, I don't know if it's somebody that I know in the community that I'm a friend with. You know, I don't know anymore. And so I, um, it was just upsetting. Now, I, I want to make something clear. I don't put myself out there as a reborn artist. I never claimed to be a reborn artist. I will never be a reborn artist. I can't. Uh, a lot of you know that I am partially blind. I have a vision impairment. I suffer with tremors in my hands from arthritis. You know, so um, I never put myself out there to be a reborn artist. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't have the talent for it. For it. Yes, I am an artist. I used to draw. I can't draw anymore because of my... Um, hands. I have the tremors in my hands, you know, and um, so um, anyhow, I wanted to have the Ariana kit back in my nursery because I adore that sculpt. I wanted to save myself money because I knew if I wanted to get her from a reborn artist. It was going to cost a lot of money. I mean, I have seen her on eBay for six, twelve hundred dollars you know. I just, I didn't have the money for that. So I decided to, well, I was very fortunate enough to get that kit at a very, very, absolutely wonderful price. And so I went ahead and got everything that I needed for her, the paints, the body, everything that I needed. Ended up it only cost me $237 total to do her completely. That's going from her painting, her wig, her, you know, everything that I needed for her. And so I saved myself a lot of money. Yes, she is not a perfect reborn. I never said she was. She's not a boo-boo baby by any means. She's a beautiful reborn doll. And I did her myself. And she's one of a kind. And she's very, very special to me. She's very precious to me. And I think I did a beautiful job on her. And yes, she doesn't have the, what that person said, depth and shadowing. I'm, I don't know. Um, she went on to say some other things. and um, Or he or a kid. I don't know. I don't know if it's a man, woman, kid. Like I said, I don't, I don't know. But anyhow. Um, and then uh, what she said about my Jamie, or he, I don't know why I keep saying she. Anyway, what they said about my Jamie um, wasn't very kind either. Um, you know, saying he looked hideous, saying that the way I did his hair makes him look like a monster. Uh, just a lot of things, you know, unkind things. So, anyway, I was up all night, did a lot of crying and so forth. And trying to decide what I was going to do. So, I, like I said, I ended up banning that email address. Or, you know, to receive any more emails. But I'm going to have to go in and change my my email address. Because I'm sure that that person might turn around and do up another fake email address to send me more. I, I don't know. But because of what I suffer with. Um, the bipolar and the PDSD and the high anxiety. I'm not going to put myself out there to receive uh, negative comments on my videos. I, I just don't want to do that. I, I don't want to put myself in that position. So I've decided not to do any more videos with uh, Jamie and Madison. Uh, you will no longer see them in my videos. It will only be Chang Su Lee. And um I just uh I just I have to um keep myself from having I have to do things that will prevent me from my bipolar and other mental illnesses from being triggered. 
I I cannot take any kind of medications for those issues because my body rejects medications and uh, even when I go to my doctors when I go to my doctors there are certain triggers that bring on flare-ups of my bipolar and my post-traumatic stress disorder and so they have to accommodate me and make sure that they don't do those certain things that's going to trigger my bipolar and my other issues so it's not an easy thing to to live with you know especially when you don't have when you can't take anything for it um, but yeah so I do not want to leave the community but at the same time I don't want to um, I, I just don't want any stuff being said about my two babies you know um, because now my my um, confidence in how I did Jamie's hair is in question how I did my Madison is in question so now I don't even think I have the confidence to reborn Madison's twin sister um, so <clears throat> like I said I never put myself out there to be a reborn artist I never said I was I never can be I wish I could but I never will be but um, I wanted my Jamie to have hair and uh, I did it myself because I just don't have the money to get him done so I did it myself and I think I did a beautiful job on him and uh, my Madison I did a beautiful job on her but now you know after getting that email it's just you know people say horrible things horrible things so anyway um that's why I came on here I wanted to share with you what went on last night and uh I've been up all night crying and haven't had any sleep and uh so but I thought you might like to see Jamie one last time because um, I'm not going to do any more videos with him or Madison it'll be just Chang Su Lee so we'll see how it goes uh, if I start receiving any negative comments or anything like that on my Chang Su Lee then I'm not going to stay in this community I refuse to I just I I don't want to um, I don't know. I'm so confused right now. See, I can feel my bipolar flaring up, so I'm going to have to go. Uh, everyone, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put this type of video up, but I just wanted to let you know what happened to me and why you will not be seeing Madison or Jamie anymore. Um, you know, and uh, I know that a lot of you like to see Jamie and Madison, but after I got that email um, I decided that it was best that I didn't do any more videos of them because of what I suffer with mentally I just I don't want to do anything that's going to trigger any anyhow um, yeah so guys thank you for watching and uh, take care bye for now